Hey you nerds, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this one I'm going to show you how to get some cosmetics in Darktide, as well as uh, the beginnings of the crafting system, which hasn't fully released yet, but eventually. All the way to the armor exchange. Yes, can I be of service? Yes, you may be of service, uh, possibly. These are all the cosmetics for your weapons as well as your armor. Uh, that you can get just by playing the game. Earning Ordos in every mission. And they are on a rotating schedule every hour. Every hour on the hour, it seems. Uh, that uh, they they rotate their inventory. These are much more impressive uh, than the premium currency ones so far. Not great, but uh, certainly a lot better. Yeah way better. I'd rather wear these. Uh, so yeah, straight from where you load in on the Morning Star. Come to the left, to the Commodore's Vestures. This is where Wallet they... All hand selected. It's Hallowet. Um, this is where you can get the, uh, the premium currency, which is the Aquilas. And it, you get 2500 if you have sprung for the uh, Imperial Edition of the game. But yes, they uh, you can buy them right through here. Costs money. Um, honestly, I don't think they're worth the money. Uh, not yet. I mean, they are on like a rotating um, structure, like weekly, I believe. Uh, so we'll see what happens next. I mean, the game's only been out a week. Um, so hopefully we'll see some better cosmetics that kind of make it worth purchasing that premium currency. Um, so far... I mean, they're not that great. The only thing that really stands out to me would be um, this Psyker's outfit. Kind of, like, uh, astronaut feel to uh, to this helmet. It is the, the, the one thing that caught my eye. The rest just kind of seems, you know, very basic. I, I mean, you could get a, a more grimy-looking staff. I It's... It's not for me. At least at the this point in time right now. Hopefully we'll see something better. Uh, but yeah, that's the for me, yeah? that's the Commodore's vestures, and then you can just go head straight back this direction, past uh, Sir Milk's Requisitorium. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, right here, this is uh, the Shrine of the Omnissiah. Very cool hadrons here. This is where you're gonna see a lot of the the more precious materials that you're gonna be using for crafting and upgrading and re-rolling and all that good stuff that you would see like in Vermintide 2 a lot of us have played before in the nerd herd um but yeah this is uh plasteel this is what you're gonna get i think even on the lowest difficulty you're gonna be getting plasteel and uh whereas diamantine is a little more precious uh the cubes we need them they press us uh we get those starting on the uprising difficulty which is the next highest level from the bottom and uh, as you increase the difficulty too you will be getting more of these materials uh, and that's all dependent on you and your team finding them in each mission uh, which is pretty random and uh, and collecting all those so yeah and then so far uh, right now combining blessings hasn't been opened up yet uh, entreat hadron right here you get a list of all your equipment here Here's your melee, you have a tab for your ranged, as well as uh, for your curios. Uh, so each one of these, I've been grinding a little bit, uh, not as much as some people I know, Starstream. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I, I just got my first transcendent weapon, uh, which I've been calling legendary until like earlier today. I'm like, oh, they have the names right underneath the name of the gun or the weapon, or whatever. Oh, yeah, it goes anointed, then exalted, then transcendent, which is cool. Anyways, uh, so, yeah, this is where you can take your weapon, and if you have enough uh, plasteel and diamantine, uh, you can consecrate right now and increase its rating and also add another blessing, basically, to that. Um, yes, yeah, 350! I'm going to be grinding for a while. Actually, when I end this video, I'm going to be grinding for that. <laughs> uh, it's, it's an awesome game. Absolutely love it. I kinda, I, I'm kind of, i not exactly sure why they haven't implemented 
the refining item, the earning blessing, and the rebless. Uh, but it does say it's opening soon, so hopefully we'll see that soon. Uh, so refining the item, thinking maybe it's a reroll of the stats, uh, the damage mobility, all this good stuff. Uh, earning the blessing, I'm not really sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys think this might be. I'm not exactly sure what that is, uh, because the rebless, I imagine, is going to reroll what blessings you have on that. So earning a blessing, not really sure. Is it going to unlock a certain blessing that you may be able to put by rerolling or reblessing? Not exactly sure. I don't know. So we'll find that all out soon and i'll probably have an updated video for you uh when that does happen uh but fantastic game i i hope you guys are enjoying it as much as i am uh i i do plan on um giving away a copy of this game at least one and uh maybe in the future uh because we are partnered with the game uh hopefully you know fat shark will be hooking us up eventually with some keys to give away more on that soon Make sure to uh, follow me over on twitch.tv slash nerdlogic. Uh, that's where all the magic happens. Anyways, um, I'm going to go play some more of this game. Oh my god, I got an ogre in my face.